Attention all CT fans! Our Black Friday sale is finally here, and this is your once in a year chance to save up to 60% on all items in the Car Throttle Shop. So click the link in the top right corner and check out our awesome items now. 10 modern car technologies I can't live without. Now don't get me wrong, I love the way an old car drives and feels, but there are some modern car technologies I can't live without. Here are my top picks. Reversing camera. Now don't get me wrong, I love a well-executed reverse parking maneuver as much as the next man. But sometimes when you're driving a car, especially a car as big as something like this, you want to have a reversing camera. It just makes life so much easier. As I shall now demonstrate, there is an E46 that I would like to park behind. I'm going to line it up with the curb. And this way, with my reverse parking camera, it means that I don't have to look over my shoulder and make sure that I'm not going to hit the car. I can look at the camera and I can also look in my side mirror to make sure that I'm not going to scrape the alloys. Easy as pie, don't even need to turn around, and I've got beeps, and there you go. Heated seats. Now I'm not too afraid to admit that I can't live without the modcon of having a heated seat. Picture the scene, it is a cold morning, you are freezing your ass off, and all you need to do is push one button, wait for a few seconds, and then Oh, oh, oh yeah, the warm embrace of hot leather. But that, my friends, is not the only benefit to heated seats. I'll admit that I also like heated seats for pranking my friends, especially on a warm day when the last thing they want is to be slow cooked from the inside out. Bloody hell, mate, this is, this is too hot. <laughs> Modern tires. Modern tire technology has the ability to transform a decent car into an incredible car that goes, grips and stops better than you ever thought possible. The reason why modern tyres are so good when compared to those we bought new 10 years ago is down to better rubber compounds, evolving tread patterns including asymmetric tyres and stronger sidewalls and shoulder blocks to name but a few. Steering wheel mounted volume control. Now the reason I like steering wheel mounted volume control is because it means that I don't need to look at a screen, I don't need to to reach over to press the up and down buttons. As you can see, I'm having to reach across quite a lot. All I need to do, just move my thumb. I know instinctively where the volume control is because I can pretty much feel it with my hands on the steering wheel. And if I want to listen to a song, all I do is scroll. Yeah! Auto lights. I'm a big fan of lights that turn on and off automatically whenever the sun starts to fade or when I drive through a tunnel. In fact, I think they should be mandatory for people who only ever drive on the weekend and who clearly forget what lights are when it gets dark. Bluetooth. Bluetooth connectivity is another awesome feature of modern cars that I can't live without. It means that you can listen to your own music, you can receive calls, or you can make calls as I shall now demonstrate. Calling Mr. Ethan Smale. Yo. Hi, mate. What's up? I just called to tell you that you're a dick and that I don't really like you. <laughs> Cheers for that. Okay, bye bye. And there you have it. Keyless entry and start. Keyless entry and start is another modern technology that I really love. It's as simple as putting the key in your pocket, you walk up to your car, your car knows that you're its owner, so it will unlock for you. Thank you very much. You get in, don't have to faff with a key, close the door, start her up and off you drive. Blind spot detection. Blind spot detection is also a really useful modern technology, especially in bigger cars like this Kodiak or super expensive cars. You obviously have mirrors, but mirrors only show you so much of the road. If you're trying to go into the left lane or if you want to pull out into the faster lane and you can't see a car in your blind spot and there is a car in your blind spot, then there will be a little orange or amber light in the wing mirror itself that will illuminate and tell you, hold on buddy, there's something in your blind spot, so be careful. Blind spot detection also means that I don't need to look over my shoulder quite so much, keeping my vision forward in the direction of travel for longer. Adaptive cruise control. Radar guided cruise control is awesome, especially on motorway journeys, because you don't need to have your foot on the accelerator or even the brake. The way it works is that a radar on the front of the car measures the distance between it and the car in front and then you as a driver can choose how close you want to get to that car. But the trade-off with having radar guided cruise control is that it does make a car look pretty ugly. Ooh. Trip computer. Now the range in the trip computer for me is one of the biggest things that I always have on show in any modern car. You can't always trust these uh, analog dials here so I always like to have a firm 
digital reading to know how far I can actually go on a tank of fuel. And then the average consumption I always like as well, especially in a car like this, we've got a 1.4 litre, yes, a 1.4 litre turbocharged engine in a Kodiak in a car as big as this. The average consumption has been 32.1 mpg, which isn't too bad because the car's only done about 500 miles because it's brand new. Fuel economy is going to go up and I look forward to that day. I hope you enjoyed that. Click here to see our last video and here to check out our Black Friday sale where you can get up to 60% off all items.